Well, it's a Saturday. Looks like we're going to be bringing another vlog today. I didn't think I was really working today. And uh, I've just been chatting to Ben. I just want to remind you of Ben. It's Ben, uh, uh, a contractor that helps me out on a, on a regular basis. And uh, he's reliable. And uh, we help each other out. And uh, what we were just talking about, we were talking about uh, plants and uh, the living world. And uh, there's lots to learn about plants. But I, as I've mentioned in other videos before, it's an IGA, an income generating activity. You know, when you go along as a landscaper and you meet that client for the first time, uh, if you have some sort of knowledge of plants, uh, they're impressed by it, you know? So it's so important that you've gone down this world of becoming a landscaper and uh, you know how to lay paving, you know how to build walls and, and decking, etc., etc., etc. But you need to dress that area up, you know? And uh, what clients and what we all look at is what what we see at eye level that's the important things looking what's on the ground you know we're driving on this road we take it for granted and we walk on our kitchen floor through our hallway we don't take our shoes off we take it for granted and that's a fact and um, the things that we appreciate are the things that are at eye level so you know if you think of becoming a landscaper or if you're a consumer out there that wants somebody who has some knowledge some good all-round knowledge not just about building and construction and design. You need to know about your plans. It's so important. So get on that road to learning today. Merchants, I want to show you something. Let's get out. Look, one of the things I've always spoke about is uh, industry and engaging with the consumer. And uh, just have a look at it. Look. Not being derogatory to juicers in any ways or means, but this is indicative of all these merchants. Come and have a look, look. If you look over here, right, this is how the merchants are now. Look around here, right? Look, you've got sand, you've got gravels, and it's all bagged up. Like, it's all nice and organized, look brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Everybody knows where everything is, but look, look, Ben, quick, 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 look. You've got blocks here, you've got slabs. Quick, come on, come on, Ben, let's keep up, keep up there. You've got all these slabs here, look, look at these slabs, like you've got concrete slabs. There's fret pays in there, right? Over here, we've got some martial stuff, some other stuff on there. At the back there, you've got some flues and things and bits and pieces, some pallets over there. Then you've still got concrete, I haven't seen any sandstone there. Bit of feather edge board, bit of sandstone over there, marshals. And then you've got the block paving over, you've got Brett paving, you've got marshals, etc., etc. But if you look at it, look at it. It's not a Rembrandt, is it? It doesn't look good. Is that going to encourage people to come in here and buy? And if you look over here, look, look, big open space, look. And you've got a little bit of a display. Those display things have been around for years. Come on, industry, get a grip, inspire us. I'm filming myself now because my uh, cameraman's very, very busy over there. But just checking the, these uh, edges that we've put along here now. These, all right, they're a bit dirty at the moment, granted, but they've gone off absolutely solid because that's what we, because we've used the Mapai exterior adhesive and they've gone off absolutely solid. And when you've got a small unit like this, an edging unit on the edge of a patio, it's not like a big block paving brick. Um, you've got to make sure that they're adhered and they're not going to come off. The last thing you want to do is coming back and repairing loose slabs. It's a nightmare. Well, we've got this opportunity to bring you a little bit more. Uh, content is so important and uh, I promised to bring it. I didn't think I was going to do one here on a Saturday. But as you can see, we've got this black porcelain contrasting edge going on. We've gone right the way around that semicircle now. And we're going to join it up across this point here where these planks are going at a 45. So, uh, as I said, we've laid this with the map eye along here. It's gone off absolutely perfect and uh, there's no moving that. So that there's no danger of those small bricks coming loose. Yeah, we have got a fire going. It's absolutely freezing here today and uh, it's only a little bit of wood. It's not affecting anybody. It's not thick black smoke. It's just burning away nicely. So it's great that this is all unfolding now. We're getting this done. We'll be able to move on to this area next week and we'll be able to move on a little bit more rapid than what we're doing. These little bricks take a little bit of time. The attention to detail with it, with it is, is so important because they're only small units. So there you are, just that little bit more content. Let's get back at it now. Well, here we are. As you can see, the brick edge is coming around this paving and uh, it's taking a little bit of time, but it's got to be done right. It's got to be done correctly. We're going to have to trim it up in places after where the cut isn't quite right, but we can do that. That's not a problem at all. 
but it's looking good and attention to detail is so important when you're doing these types of jobs and it will, that will ensure that you'll get work in the future and people will look at it and it's the attention to detail that gives it the wow factor so uh, look at me wow <laughs> here you are back again again um well that's it uh for today we've uh should i show you from this side here i haven't got my cameraman here at the moment um there you are you see all the the brick edges that we've put in there sweeping around over this side this is going to house the artificial grass we have to continue it around on this side as well over here and um I've got to say, it's looking, it's looking spot on, and uh, it's within a millimetre, uh, we, we've got it just perfect, and it has to be perfect, because when they're looking at the window, looking down, they don't want any kinks in that uh, real geometric circle that we've created, or we've tried to create, so we've, we've gone all the way over here, gone round the side, so we've moved on a, lot, a, a little bit more rapid today, which is good, so one of the things I was going to say is that it's so important when you're... Um, using cement at this time of the year is i have a, a rule that anything sort of around about one o'clock i don't start mixing cement up after, after then uh, unless you take precautions and cover it up and i've said this before in other videos what you don't want to be doing is coming back the next day and the cement is compromised because of uh, the frost and it, it's not good at all we had three slabs the other day we we're gonna have to relay uh, that was because the, there was just too much water in, in the in the muck and hey -oh, it happens that's it but we we're dealing with it and we're being held accountable for it we're, we hold ourselves accountable for it so bear with me one second i'm going to clean this up and then i'll be able to take a couple of pictures and you'll be able to see what this patio looks like nice and clean well cleaning off is so important we do backwards and forwards and try and keep things clean you can put a sheet down um, you can do lots of things to keep everything clean but Basically, you've still got to clean up at the end of the day, whatever you're doing, if you're picking a sheet up. But what I try not to do, especially this time of year, especially when I've been using cement as well, is not to put too much water on, because again, the water will freeze and it will ruin what you've done. So make sure that you don't put too much water on, because it's no good for it. Uh, over the moon, what we've actually done, and uh, there, there are, without a doubt, a few little areas where we're going to have to just trim and make sure it looks perfect. It needs to be perfect, especially when you're creating these sorts of shapes, because the eye will follow the line around and it will see those little little bricks that are probably sticking out in places or whatever, like because they're oversized or undersized, whatever. But you have to make sure that you address that, you know. Uh, for you consumers, again, because this. These videos isn't just about landscapers, it's about the consumer. If, if you've got a contractor, prepare to go to this length. So I haven't charged any extra for, for putting this brick edge in. You know, uh, brick edges, you think, well, yeah, they're simple, straightforward. But when you're given the attention to detail as what we give here, it's, you know, it's worth the investment, it really is and it will, it will reap dividends in the future when you come to sell the property somebody comes and has a look they can actually have a look at what they what's happened and it is the wow factor you know it's 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 bang on and uh, that's the way if you're going to do a job you know do it right the first time it's as simple as that wow look as you can see that's looking perfect now and it's not quite ready for grain. We've got a couple of cuts to do. We've got to work around that manhole. They've got the manhole underneath the fence, which is not good in itself. And some of you are going to say out there, why is he going on about, why is he going on about cleaning again? Well, I'm going on about cleaning because I'm trying to get the message home. It's so important to clean. Clean, clean, clean. You need to keep repeating this process. And you keep repeating this process, it will get you out of a lot of trouble. And if you don't do it, it will get you in trouble. If you don't clean, it's so important. I'm going to say it again on another video soon.